When starting to create a website, we must first learn how to manage files and folders for the website. In this folder, I'm going to create a new folder and call it my website. Everything housed inside my website will now be instructed to be within my website folder. Here, we will first create a new folder and call it images. We must ensure that when we create website files and folders that everything is in particular with no spaces and no capitalized letters. We'll also create a new folder and call it CSS. Here, all of our cascading style sheets will be positioned. We'll also create a new folder and call it JavaScript. Within this folder element, we will also be placing all the files that pertain to JavaScript. In this understanding, when we create these types of file structures and folder structures, our website can be clearly delineated of what type of files are included within each folder, keeping our elements clean and understanding. If we create new pages for our website, let's say we are going to create a page for About Us, we'll create a new folder and say about dash us, or the other option is to keep the files without any space. To keep things clean, we will add the dash about us. Therefore, we are not including capital letters or spacing in any of our element folders. When we go to Dreamweaver and save our file, let's create a new file. So a new file can be created by File, New, or Control End. On a Mac, it will be Command N. We'll select HTML, keep our doc type as HTML5, select Create, and then go to File, Save As, or Shift Control S, and find our folder for my website. And here, within this structure, we will create our index.html. Once I save this file and go back to our view of the file, you'll see how my index file is now beneath all my other file structures. So when we create links between our JavaScript and links between our cascading style sheets and images, we will be able to draw from these folders directly into this file.